Welcome back, folks, to Rona Ferry's favorite game show, These Wines Rock. I'm your host, Tim Orasso, and tonight, our granite heads, limestone layers, and flea schnatics will make their case as to why their favorite soda type is the perfect terroir for our mystery grape. And that grape is Vermentino. Ah, yes, the grape that loves the sea. Okay, Russ, Babs, Tuba, you have 90 seconds. Part of the fun of Vermentino is seeing how it expresses itself in different terroirs. And we start in the region of Liguria. In Liguria, there are some important denominations to know. Starting with Riviera Ligure di Pomente, where it's also known by its biotype as Pigato. And it can also be used as a blending grape or in a single varietal in Cinque Terra DOC, as well as Colliguni. Now the soil type in Liguria has a significant effect on how Vermentino expresses itself. It tends to be sedimentary, calcareous, sand, and marl. The physical makeup of the soil is to be rocky, so it drains well and it reflects heat well. And those two factors actually provide juiciness and ripeness to the grapes that help, help to make bigger, richer expressions of Vermentino. The chemical influence of the soil, and that limestone component in particular, provides an acidic counterpoint that provides acidity to the grapes. The rocky soil, soil stresses the vines and it helps to get high sugar content. There's also more delicate aromatic characters than you would see in places like uh, Sardinia, for instance, with clay and granite soils. And there's also that saline note from limestone and sea breezes. Bevi Italiano. Vermentino is Italy's wonderful white grape. It's full of aromas, although not, not aromatic. It's a wonderful wine with fish, with vegetables. It's Mediterranean through and through. And the most of uh, Vermentino in Italy comes from the island of Sardinia, roughly the size of Wales, and yet the second largest uh, Mediterranean island. Uh, Vermentino is grown throughout the island of Sardinia, and it realized its DOC status in about 1988. Um, the most important Vermentino is from the Galura DOCG. You know, this wonderful area of very old decomposing granite uh, brought on by vo volcanic action has left sands in, uh, behind that are just perfect for this grape and the um, old, oldness, I mean, probably the oldest area in Italy uh, has given us these, you know, mineral and salinity and, and these uh, white fruit aromas, as well as, you know, an, an ability to uh, find tertiary aromas of, uh, you know, as the grape ages of even more pronounced minerality. This is a wonderful expression of Vermentino in Galera, and it's thanks to the granite and volcanic activity. Hi everyone. The third home of Vermentino in Italy is Toscana, in the province of Massa Carrara, up to Livorno, Maremma, and Elb Island. We see Vermentino in Toscana in 18 different DOCs, as well as in many diverse IGTs. What I choose today is a Bulgar DOC. Maybe the region is better known with red grapes, but traditional production in this territory was white and rosé wines. Vermentino is often been white as a single variety, but also be blended with Sauvignon Blanc, Viognier, and Trevian Toscano. We see Vermentino in the borderline along with the hills with altitude 250 and 400 meters. The windy climate here brings salt and disgrace the significance. The terroir has both marine and alluvial origins, where alluvial deposits have been transported to the valley from the streams that run through Bulgaria's hillsides. We also see sandy clay, loam, alkaline soils with a very fine gravel in which it is possible to find fossil fragments such as small shells. Bulgaria's macroclimate is particularly favorable for Vermentino production due to both the territory's orientation and proximity to the sea, which gives the wine pronounced mineral notes, freshness, and aromatic qualities. On the nose, it presents intense aromas, yellow fruit, white flowers, and the notes of citrus that complete its aromatic profile. On palate, it's pleasing, savory, with an excellent balance of freshness and minerality. Bulgaria Vermentino offers a sapid and persistent finish, providing a sensation of freshness and balance. Cheers. 
Hello, there you have it, folks. Don't those all just sound delicious? Thank you for playing tonight. Join us next week for our Tilly Lachem to Look Like contest and our favorite panel topic, Fleece, Fleece, and More Fleece. Until then, stay thirsty.